some Lauren Vitale, and I'm so excited to show you this video on this episode of Lauren the Kitchen. <laughs> um, because it's one of those things that you guys are always asking for, which is always more chicken recipes and something that's super easy, especially for a weeknight. And you can marinate this the night before or the morning before you head to work or you start your day. And then all you have to do is throw it into the oven and make a rice pilaf and you are done. I posted a reel to tease you and so many of you loved it. So I can't wait to show it to you. It's really easy. I'm calling it like a lemon butter roasted chicken and it makes its own sauce in the pan. I don't think we can ever have enough roast chicken recipes because it's such a go-to protein. I'm using bone-in skin on chicken thighs, which happen to be right now in every grocery store that I have seen. It happens to be the most affordable option and the most um, available in terms of chicken products, unless you like chicken feet because I do have those. But we don't need those for this prop for this operation. We need the bone-in skin on chicken thighs. So I've got about six to eight in here. They vary in sizes in terms of obviously sizes, but the thickness are all the same, which is really important. Skin on bone-in chicken thighs or chicken thighs in general, really hard to mess up. You can't overcook them because the longer you cook them, the more tender they get. You cook them just enough so that they are perfectly cooked. They are juicy and delicious. So you can't really go wrong. Very forgiving. And we are going to marinate these and they're going to be fantastic. And by marinate, I mean, I'm just going to do this in here. Let it sit for a few minutes, then throw them into the oven because it works just as well. Okay. In here, I've got oregano, dried oregano. I've got some chicken bouillon, which makes everything so good. And some granulated garlic. To it, I'm going to add some rosemary. This is my own rosemary, but I've been drying a couple of stems. So I'm just going to use a little bit. Rosemary can be very overpowering. It's also sublime with lemon and butter. So I'd love to add it in here. And then I'm going to go ahead and grate in some garlic. You can just mince it if you want it to. I'm just going to do about three cloves because I'm feeling, I'm feeling fancy today. Okay. I'm grabbing my salt. A good amount of salt, freshly ground black pepper, beautiful. And then I'm going to use some all-purpose poultry seasoning or any all-purpose seasoning that you like. I like a salt-free seasoning. You can make your own. You can just take some dry, your favorite dried herbs and your favorite dried spices. And then that way you can really tailor what that seasoning is to you. Like if you like a lot of cumin you can add that in there if you like you could do a little bit of cardamom you could add anything that you want to really personalize your all-purpose seasoning and i'm telling you it is a game changer when it comes to cooking i'm gonna do the juice of a half a lemon and if any seeds go in there it is fine by me it will not hurt my feelings and then a really important ingredient for me is a little dijon mustard uh, about a tablespoon or so. It kind of just helps everything really adhere to the chicken and it gives you a really lovely tanginess along with a little bit of olive oil, maybe a tablespoon or so, just any, enough to get it going. You don't need a lot because chicken thighs have their own fat. Um, and we are going to be adding some butter to this to really make a really delicious sauce. But now with your clean hands, you're gonna go in here and you're really gonna massage the seasoning all over your chicken. Just go ahead and add your chicken to a greased baking dish. I just added a little bit of olive oil to the bottom so that everything gets going. Beautiful. Don't leave anything behind, like I can tell there's a lot of good seasoning in here, so I'm going to grab that. This little guy is going to help me clean the bowl. That is beautiful. Okay, I'm just going to go wash my hands really quickly, and then we proceed. Just going to go ahead and take some chicken stock. Add it just around your pan. Beautiful. Get that all in there. About a cup by the time it's all said and done. The remaining lemon, I like to just add a squeeze in there. I'm just gonna leave the any seeds that fall through. Not gonna worry about it. Just makes a really nice lemony sauce that you will spoon all over. 
And then you're gonna take a couple tablespoons of butter and I just cut them into really thin little pieces so that it goes a lot further. And then you're just gonna dot it all around your chicken. And then as that cooks, it kind of just drips into the sauce. You can tell they're not, it's not, I'm not doing really thick pats of butter because we don't need really thick pats of butter. We just need a couple tablespoons total. And then I like to take my seasoning, that all purpose seasoning I was telling you about, and just give it a nice little coating on top like that. Now I'm gonna obviously pop this into the oven now, but you can do the marinating part, cover it, keep it somewhere in the fridge, obviously it's tightly sealed overnight, or definitely you can do it in the morning and then just pop it into the oven when you get home from work or school pickup or whatever, and you have a wonderful dinner literally in minutes worth of effort. I'm gonna pop this into the oven, then we make the rice pilaf, um, and then that's pretty much it. We are gonna make rice pilaf to go alongside. Now, traditional rice pilaf, you would start with some broken spaghetti and a little bit of orzo. I'm doing all rice today because I can and because I feel like it. <laughs> and it's just really easy. It's, I don't have to go through any extra step. And honestly, if you can make a pot of white rice, you can make this and it's absolutely so delicious. We love it. Um, all you gotta do is take some long grain rice. I went ahead and rinsed it because I wanna get this to be nice and fluffy. So you just rinse off as much starch as possible in your saucepan. Add just a little bit of butter and I'm gonna add my rice. It's not really gonna turn any dark color or any brown color because you rinsed it, you've added moisture in there. But I am gonna let that just sort of cook into the butter for about a minute or two. And then I like to add some granulated garlic, a little bit of chicken bouillon or chicken stock, a little paprika and a little bit of dry basil. And it gives it the most delicious flavor. It really is the best rice pilaf ever. And those of you that I made it for my smoky shrimp recipe, which is on my website, you'll like you've made it constantly ever since because it's just so easy. I'm just gonna let this cook in here for like a minute and then we proceed. Add your stock and your garlic and paprika and basil and that little bit of chicken bouillon. I like to add a little extra. And now all I'm going to do is bring this to a boil, lower the heat to low, cover and let it cook for like 18 to 20 minutes you almost have to like look at the packaging because hey, listen some rice low maintenance okay 18 to 22 minutes perfect some they're like between 20 and 45 minutes okay I, I like to pick one that's right around 20 minutes and every standard long grain, long grain rice that's not brown rice will take about 20 minutes so just keep an eye on it I don't stir it I don't do nothing I just once it starts to really bubble, put a lid on it, turn it as low as it goes, and I put a timer on for 20 minutes, then I turn it off, and I don't even look at it until I'm ready to serve. So that's what I want you to do. Don't mess with the pot of rice. Let it be. Rice is perfect. Look how fluffy. Try not to scrape your pan. Beautiful thing. I'm gonna take some of that rice. Pile it. This is like a little cook's treat, you know. You know I gotta do a little cook's treat for myself. And then that sauce is boss, okay? And when you serve this, push bit. Gotta tilt the pan, you know? And then when you serve this, please add a little parsley on top. Add a little fresh squeeze of lemon and something green. And can I just tell you? Oh, look how beautiful that crust is. Can I just tell you, look at that, falls apart, falls apart. Mmm, hot. So hot, so good. I, I swallow fast, I eat and chew without, what, what I'm gonna do, okay? When I say add something green, I don't always think that you need to make a big production out of sauteing freshly cut asparagus or a zucchini succotash or any of that. You can go as simple as taking a microwavable bag of peas, throw them in the microwave for five minutes, add a little seasoning and call it a day. Or you can pull a Lara Vitale, always have a box of mixed greens in the fridge. You can dress them with olive oil, a little vinegar or a little lemon juice and a pinch of salt. And now you have a little green. 
you don't always have to go the extra mile to feel like you are really you're really doing something because just the fact that you threw something into the oven so that you had a home cooked meal on the table is so much more than enough. So give yourself grace where you can. Go to lara in the kitchen.com for the written recipe. I hope you enjoy spending time with me and I will see you in the next one. Bye.